So in this video, we're going to take a look at the Black 1976 model and see how we can implement Python code for valuing uh, interest rate caplets and floor lifts. Uh, so basically, the starting point here would be to copy this code. Um, we'll just pull down. Now, this code I've used before and I've adopted here for uh, the Black model and uh, previously, it was a black model on a futures contract. Now we're developing code for black model on an interest rate. And that generally implies that we have to consider two time periods. So there's the time period when the option matures, time of expiration for the option, but there's also <clears throat> when the payoff occurs. And that generally because this relates to interest rates, there is a, a, a gap or a lag between the two. So we have to consider two time periods. Okay, so the most uh, straightforward way to implement an estimation here is to use online GBD. And it takes a second. <clears throat> then we come into our online GBD, remove uh, code that we have there, go to Python, I think we might have to, okay, we just paste, that's fine. And everything looks fine. Um, sometimes it makes sense to paste into Notepad or into a Word document first and then paste again. Okay, so uh, basically uh, the numbers, the estimation here is going to be based on numbers we have used before and it's based on an example so we'll take a look uh, at an excel spreadsheet where we had run uh, so this is the actual worked example uh, we're going to estimate both a caplet and a floorless uh, the principal is 10,000 uh, the expected or the forward rate is 7%. We're going to cap at 8. The continuously compounded rate, is, if we take 7% and we assume that uh, we want to convert this annual rate to um, a continuously compounded rate, then we... Uh, so we, we're taking a quarterly rate of interest and we're converting it to a continuously compounded rate. So the 7% becomes 6. So uh, the continuously compounded rate is 0 0.06939. The option matures in one year, but the payment, the underlying loan is uh, interest payment uh, occurs three months later, so that's 1.25 years, and the volatility uh, of the under underlying interest rate is 20%. So D1, D2 estimated in the usual way, and for the cash amount for the call option is 516, and for the, or the caplet, and for the floorless, uh, the value of the floorless as a cash amount is 28, and we've taken into account here that we're basing it on a principle of 10,000 euros or dollars. And uh, we, the interest rate is uh, quarterly. Okay, so uh, let's go into our, back to uh, online GBD for a moment. Let's look at the parameter inputs. Now the parameter inputs are the same as, as what we've just mentioned. So the forward rate, is is seven uh, percent the capping rate if it's a call option the cap capping at eight otherwise the floor is at eight for a pot or floor less uh, the continuously compounded rate same as before the sigma or volatility is twenty percent. T1, the maturity of the option is one year, maturity of the loan is 1.25 years, or the interest payment is due on the loan in 1.25 years, and we have a principal of 10,000 in each case. 
if we run that estimation, the values that we obtain should tally with what we saw in the Excel spreadsheet. So we've 28.08 and 5.16 are the two values we have here for the put option and the call. Let's go back into the spreadsheet for a moment and make the comparison. And let's uh, just paste. Now when we paste, we have to be, okay, the value we get, uh, we should just make sure the coloring here. So 2808, that's consistent with this for the floorlet and for the put, for the call option, it's uh, 516, so both of those figures tally. Uh, looks like this uh, Python code is working. Could do one quick check. What if the interest rate was 8%? Then the figures we get are 1443. Now it's the same in both cases. We can just check that. Uh, this is a feature with the uh, black model. All right, so 144293, 144293. Let's go back into um, online GBD, uh, the online Python compiler. We'll change this to eight. And again, here we change this to eight. And when we run this, we should get the same result in both instances. We get 1460 in both cases. They're exactly the same for the pot, for the floorlet and the caplet. Let's compare with the, with Excel. Okay, we can paste. Let's paste here again, paste. And we didn't copy correctly, so uh, I'll pause. Okay, so we have one issue here that arises. When we change F here to eight, we then change also by extension the risk free rate. We better copy that value. So let's escape for a moment. And we need to just highlight, copy, come into uh, maybe paste special uh, value. Right, and then let's copy this. Go back into online GBD. Online GBD, so there's two changes we must make. And we must change uh, the risk free rate from the 6% to this new value to reflect that the uh, quarterly interest rate when eight implies that the and with a flat term structure implies that the risk free rate is 7.9 continuously compounded. We make the change down below here. Let's paste. Now let's run. We get a figure. We should get the same figure in each instance for both the call and the put. So we've lost uh, internet for a moment. Okay, I'll pause and then try again. Okay, uh, our internet has been reestablished and you can see here we're getting a value which is identical in both cases of 144293. Let's go back into Excel and uh, compare our results with the results from Excel and we'll paste below and both the call and the put uh, were the same now with, to change the font to black. So 14429, 1442931, 31. So that's the same for both the caplet and the floorlet, and then for the Python values as well. So this Python code seems to be working uh, uh, fine. We don't seem to have issues. Um, okay.